A very good morning and Om Shanti to all of you listeners. Today is your 169th day of your Godly Blessing. What a journey. So before we go ahead, let's look at the link above and click on it to find out about flexibility, yoga asanas, diet and sleep patterns. Everything is helpful over there. So let's go ahead with today's blessing. Let's understand what God the Father or Baba has to say in today's blessing. So Baba wants us to be free from all the bondages. Without being free from the bondages, I the soul and you the soul cannot even leave this body in peace. We cannot even go back in peace to the Supreme Abode or Param Dham or Brahma Lok, Nirvan Dham, whatsoever you want to call it. That's the place where God the Father is ever liberated. He's liberated from having to take birth in a body. So only God the Father can give us the knowledge of liberation. Not a human being can give us the knowledge of liberation. So God the Father has to come down. Baba comes down and he tells us that my children remember yourself that you are a soul you are just like me a point of light a divine being an energy you're not this physical body because you have thought of yourself as a physical body that's why you get into bondages of ego and jealousy and hatred and many many negativities so let's understand what baba has to teach us today in this godly blessing <music> Baba says, may you die alive, dying alive. What does that mean? You are alive also, but you are dead. Dead means body consciously, you are dead in your mind. You don't have any thoughts of body consciousness. You don't have any thoughts about rich, poor, dark skin, fair skin, or Hindu or Muslim or Sikh or Isai. You don't have any of those body conscious thoughts. That means you're dead for this world. In this world, people are divided. Humanity is divided. And that's because of body consciousness. Body consciousness means having thoughts related to the body and comparing yourself and relating to others also on the basis of body. And that's where differentiation, that's where disparity amongst human beings have creeped in. And Baba says that's the reason for impurity in your life. And because of body consciousness, none of the souls have yet reached me up there in the Supreme Abode. And we think that everybody who's dying is going to God. God says, sorry, nobody is pure in this world because everybody is body conscious only soul conscious souls can leave the body in peace and reach up there because being soul conscious means you have not done many sins you have done the least amount of sins in this world so may you die alive means become soul conscious and with the awareness of your original and eternal form originally we are souls we are not this physical body and the name which we have got let's say my name over here is Parampreet or Shan whatsoever you want to call but that is the name which has been given on to this body. The name of the soul changes in every birth. So who am I then? I'm a soul. I'm not this Parampreet. I'm not the Shanu. This is a temporary role which I've got in this world. But if I get attached to this world and attached to this word, the name Parampreet or Shanu or your own name, if you get attached to and you have ego about it, about your achievements, then that's going to be bringing suffering and bondages to you. So become free from bondage and free others to soul consciousness the knowledge of it frees many souls and god has come down on earth to teach us how to be soul conscious how to live and think and speak like him so it's a very powerful method baba says just as the father takes a body on loan god the father has to come down on earth otherwise how will he meet us children who are entangled into death and birth again and again so god has to come down on earth he cannot give us a telepathic message God says, I come down on earth when you souls have become so poor in spirituality that you can't even catch my messages that I have to come down, I have to take a body on loan, I have to use a mouth of somebody else's body and speak to you the knowledge. Yes, it sounds very, 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 very weird. But yes, that's how God comes down on earth and gives us the knowledge and gives us the knowledge of liberation. God says, just as a father takes a body on loan, and doesn't come into bondage he doesn't get into a body through a womb God says I am ever pure I can never get bound by birth and death but I come down on earth and I take a body of Adam the last birth of Adam I come into his body and I take his body on loan because he has also become very impure in the last birth and he cannot go up he cannot fly up the soul cannot come up so even Adam and Eve or Brahma and Saraswati they have not yet come up to the Param Dhamma or Supreme Abode. So I have to come down, I have to teach my first child first, the eldest child of all humanity, and then through him, through Brahma, because the four heads are shown in the case of Brahma, through Brahma I spread the knowledge in all the four directions about soul consciousness, about spirituality. That's why four heads in Brahma's uh, the sculpture. So Baba says, 
that just as the father takes a body alone and doesn't come into bondage in the same way you children who have taken the birth of dying alive we have understood that for this kalyug if you have a lot of desires if you want things then the more and more we get entangled the more and more we get into sin the more and more we get into greed and ego and jealousy so god says live a very simple life be satisfied with what you have and i promise you that i'll provide you the last bread also so god says that for that you have to forget this old world the desires of this old and pure world because this old and pure world is bringing about com- competition jealousy comparison and ego and anger and violence and so many things why all that because for the sake of survival the god says if you use my ways you will survive for longer so so become free from any bondages of your bodies sanskars and natures bodies means having attachment to the body if the body gets sick we are into despair if this body gets a scratch we feel sad god says that is all bondage you are not this body don't be attached to the beauty of the body even a scratch can make you sad even a small hurt can make you sad and god says that is the reason for sadness and depression in many people's life nowadays such small things you are a soul focus on your inner beauty and forget about your outer beauty it's a very very old body of the last birth of kalyu what do you expect you were so beautiful in satyug you had a wonderful beautiful body in satyug don't forget that i come down on earth to tell you about your previous births so that you remember and you get detached from the beauty of this body you don't look at your celebrity in the mirror but you look yourself in the mirror of your karmas of your thoughts of your words and your actions every day look at that who you really are in the mirror of the impression which god has given you as that you have to do the right thoughts have to have the right words and have to have the right karmas of purity so baba says then your sanskars old sanskars of getting angry of getting egoistic of getting jealous of other people all those sanskars will start fading away and natures we generally say i have got this nature i have got the nature of getting angry i have got the nature of bossing around i have got the nature of uh, finding everything imperfect and making it perfect i am a perfectionist so god says all those natures which bring about bondages to you you get attached to outcomes and you get attached so much so that you trouble other people other souls and your karmas become impure be free from those things by having no desires in this world no desires doesn't mean that you start stop living you have to eat you have to earn you have to dress up but without being attached to that yes that's the link that's the secret so then baba says you can adopt sanskars as and when you want whatsoever pure sanskars god has taught us we can just adopt them any time with when we want it just as a father is free from bondage what bondage god doesn't come into any relationship with anybody of give and take of getting gifts from people giving gifts from to people of exchange of money of exchange of loving words in the sense of i want something back in return for those loving words god doesn't come into any of those bondages god doesn't get jealous he doesn't have ego he doesn't have any of those negativities which we children who call him god the father have started imbibing within us so god says then first stabilize yourself in the stage of the incorporeal world param dham or the supreme abode of brahma lok is the incorporeal world world where we souls don't even have this corp or this body with us so first you have to think how we were there in that incorporeal world how pure we were did we have any kind of competition comparison with people did we have any form of jealousy but did we have any form of greed or ego or lustful thoughts in that world we didn't have all those things that's why we were pure and we were able to sit and stay along with god the father god says be that now practice that now it cannot happen at the end of the day or the end of the time of apocalypse uh, apocalypse or at the end of the time of end of days that's when you think that during mahakal i am going to be pure suddenly god says sorry that's the practice which you have to do now it's like preparing for the exam on the last day it cannot be done it's not so simple you cannot mug up things of how to be pure suddenly you can't have pure sanskars or suddenly can't have pure thoughts so god says first stabilize yourself in the stage of the incorporeal world and then come down think that you have just come down from there you're a pure soul and then come into actions as of thoughts and words and actions god then says maintain the awareness of your original and eternal form originally we are souls eternally we are souls perform actions while considering yourself to be souls that's what that's the secret who have incarnated and others will follow you we are the sign 
we are the emblem we are the depiction of how to be pure in this world and god wants us to be like that so i'll leave you with this beautiful vardhan think about it contemplate about it have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti